good morning everyone it's very good morning shall we begin today's topic is a resource distribution yeah it also includes free distribution how the resources are distributed among the teachers or the teacher librarian or, the, or as well as the students the main topic is the population and the resource distribution in the third world century and it is also social studies yes number of the children depend on the classes basically it is 30 per class and 3 to 4 class per period and what is the main objective that is main strategy or the main objective will develop a strategy that allows them to identify and define a problem of population okay all right of experience in totality yeah this is sample number five are you able to hear me so let's start with sample number nine from the classroom now it's someone really who has 15 years of teaching experience and is currently work as a teacher librarian and the social studies teacher at the Lindsay Thunberg or Thunberg Comprehensive High School in the red year. so they plan out that uh, how the teacher librarian and the teacher are responsible for the pre-research phase of the unit and also discuss the curriculum goals of unit with the student that provides an outline of the requirement of the assignments what is the main requirement options available and describes the method of evaluating the unit how we can evaluate the things how we can uh, make make them available or do the assignment so the research phase of the assignments were described and the teacher librarian input and participation in the teaching and evaluation of the unit were also explained that is how it is going better 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 option for the participation and during this pre-research stage the subject teacher defined the questions and also identified the problems to be solved whatever the problem that they have and in the same case the students selected are selected or selected a developing country that we used to study from a list prepared by the teacher and the teacher librarian and the list was limited to countries in which suitable information are available that is uh, we can choose any, any much of the information that is used and to narrow their topic prepared a thesis statement to explain the reasons or the events why they have contributed to that country status by the developing country develop a list of the research questions to guide their research submitted to the teacher before they begin and the list of the resources that they thought that would be helpful to them they were also expected to check with the teacher and the teacher librarian for the feedback as they progress for the assignments they go for the assignments the first is complete a formal written paper and outline present their work to the class in an oral presentation with the charts when we talk about the formal written paper and the outline that means a normal pen paper yeah pen paper exam oral presentation includes what are the charts that will be available that will be used in an oral presentation then design a short quiz on their material to check the peer understanding that may be optional assist the fellow students in evaluating their oral presentations Complete a list of references to be submitted with the final draft of the paper. Demonstrate how quickly, how, how, how we can manage, or how, what is the main understanding of the research process by applying previously learned uh, skills. this is discovered under the planning the next is the information retrieval that is stage number two the students are provided with a list of resources how to use that resources to complete the research and they were also expected to apply all the information gathering skills and also master to this point to locate current information current ctc 
and they were also encouraged to use other libraries also to supplement the school's library resources, school library project, and they were expected to gather information on the computers, video cassettes, film strips, and the films. At this stage, students are evaluated by the teacher librarian on their working bibliography. So whatsoever be the case, that bibliography will be used that will be denoted by the information retrieval. So I feel that resource-based learning in the individualized instruction accommodates various learning styles and also provides the teacher with the ability to teach essential research skills, essential data, and also allows for the variable reading abilities of the students while providing opportunity to utilize cooperative learning with the students. Uh, make them effective, make them uh, make the variable reading abilities and also utilize with them to, uh, to make cooperative or to make summarize with the students. And they are also presented, or students are also presented there with the opportunities to use a variety of formats to access information that may be a print, that may be non-print in the computer and to use these methods to present the information. that information will be used to give adequate instruction, strategies and the resources and the senior students are also capable of producing very sophisticated and the insight work or insightful work. And the fair amount of effort and resources are devoted are devoted to this course great social studies also unit and once a research unit that is clearly defined and designed that is much effective in impacting the learning than any 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 number of the have a or the purely uh, planned units. These covered under the information retrieval that takes around one day or the two days. And there are also, uh, students are also expected to gather information from computers also, video cassettes, film sheets, hard disk, DVD, and any backup device that is used. And at this stage also, computers are evaluated by the teacher librarian, how they gather the information, how they retrieve the information, whether they are able to find out the information or not. the information processing. So teachers were told to identify relevant information as they read. They were expected to identify main ideas and details relevant to the topic, assimilate new vocabulary, to summarize the information and to use text structures such as the chapter headings to assist them in their search. The next is information sharing, so that present or students present their finding to the class as a whole for an oral synopsis. Then stage number five is evaluation, so students provided the feedback to the teachers and also the teacher librarian on the assignment and also identify the research skills that they could use in other subjects also. So any doubt in this sample activity number five? Just read it, okay? So let's continue with the next uh, sample activity, sample number six. Okay. This is the classroom of uh, John Fellows, that is a teacher or that have a, has a, six, 19 years of teaching experience and Claire has a seven. Students were introduced to a wide range of Canadian poets and the poetry. The techniques of interviewing seen on the various TV shows that were then discussed and the students also worked in APS. They studied one assigned poet, determined their method of the presentation, resources to use and the research questions. And interviews also the only the one, one of the method of only the product that is evaluated. The students selected three other interviews that they would like to view and evaluate. In the same time, the teacher and the teacher librarian then work with the class as a whole to determine evaluation criteria and the value. They, they were determined that they work as a class, or they work with the class as a whole to determine the evaluation criteria. The criteria include the interview techniques, that is costuming and makeup, mm -hmm. eye contact, 
acting ability and association and the knowledge of the skill then body language and the voice projection voice projection includes whatever the method that they are dealing with so they are they are maintaining with the body language they are maintaining with the voice projection the interview content that is the introduction and the conclusion poetry reading biographical information that includes the childhood education current family life residence pets current education or the current occupation then influences on the writing <laughs> method of the writing amount of the time to work their ideas came from and the list of the work that is the physical samples of the work that is the interview content that, that that introduction and the conclusion for reading bibliographic information whatever the information that they have so they make the information more influence on the writing then stage number two is information retrieval they use the videos books anthologies vertical files to locate the information about and by their poem they selected two or three poems to discuss that is whatever the, the information that they have so they discuss in their interviews and for the script development students use bibliographic information as well as the poetry readings and also try to make the interview as authentic as possible by making the information that is possible for or making the poet personality, temperament and appearance. Each and every pair decided on their interview format and the content of the interview. And each pair was also responsible for rehearsal on their own time. So for script development they use bibliographic information and the reading and also try to make the interview as authentic as possible by including information and they also decided on their interview format also the content of the interview and they were responsible for rehearsal on their own time then information sharing uh, that is the each and every interview was videotaped and also evaluated by the teacher teacher library and the three students and there's a technical quality that was not evaluated and a consensus was reached on the team marked after the discussion and four interviews were also evaluated on each and every day what are the four steps that is the first first is a uh, planning then decision making then analysis and then evaluation so evaluation includes indicate the areas of the research most and the least of it So what's about the area, what's about the interest that is uh, gaining outside when I speak to the teacher who showed new possibility for the English version, then uh, that, that information, that comment will be very useful for the resource based uh, learning methods that help the students more independent in their learning day because, and also responsible for the finished work. And they also research and report the issues that they have, that they have, or that they and I was delighted that the students were able to present authentic interviews and with practice and gave quite uh, good pretty readings. Now this is, these are the copyrighted forms that is available with this diagram. It shows that these are available with the concrete examples with the concrete data. Now next is the activity that includes or that says about the same language arts. And the number of students are the 27 and the time is approximately it takes around two months, that is a six to eight weeks. A main objective will become familiar with a variety of the fairy tales that will be able to identify common elements, compare uh, different versions. write traditional tales with the new variations, innovations and also write original tales. Level is introductory and the research skills is for the process of the information processing. So main focus is given on the research stages that will be given. So that main focus is given or main focus is available on information processing. That takes place between the teacher and the teacher library team that taught throughout the unit that were advised or that were introduced to the fairy tales for discussion of the prior knowledge and new information on the historical background of the folk culture. Whatsoever the information that they have, so they make the, that, that information presented 
these detected fairly tails and also discuss identified its element with a group of the students. They are then switched and the process was repeated to establish the common element found in the fairly tails. So they were advised to select the main main folk tales, draft a rough bibliographic and also creates a booklet that provided a synopsis of each tale and the common element that is found in this. Because uh, whenever we plan, so that takes around uh, one week, because planning is much more important because if the planning fails, everything goes vanish. The teacher librarians exercise the school fairly tale books, film strips and the video tapes and they also borrow the additional resources from other schools also. And the public library was also used by the students. They were encouraged to find and read fairly folk tales and at the same time they work in the groups and also took turns reading and they also read individually and sometimes shared their thoughts on a tale with the horse class. And students also received bonus points for outside reading. They were also evaluated on their rough list of the resources at this point. Because whatever the information that they have, whatever the retrieval that they have, they make that retrieval possible as soon as possible for the public libraries also. The students are also guided through the activities, rewriting the tale with the different endings, writing the tale in a modern settings, using fairly tales that they have chosen. So what are the information that they have so that they make rewriting the tales with the different different activities. And working in a group of three to four, students identify the common elements in a several folk tales. Then they begin to work within for a booklet containing a synopsis. Synopsis in the sense, um, we can say, or outline, yes, outline in the author title, illustrators as the country of the origin. And with this teacher library guidance, students also studied the eight versions of Contrella and identified and compared the basic elements of the folk tale that were guided through the activities of the different endings. Then uh, that find out the resources available in the classroom that are too limited and the restrictive and additional resources are also necessary in non-fiction and the literature. And they were given with the effect of using the resource-based learning that the students gain on the basis of knowledge demonstrate greater motivation, gain a greater desire to learn more, gain a greater understanding of how to find information and also can turn the skills from one subject to another. And the main main surprise for the student and the teacher was also probably the great number of the versions of particular fairly tales and they were also found to be a wealth of the literature that may have, that may did not re, uh, realize existing and also did not previously know where to find in the library, where to go in the library that were evaluated or that were given feedback of the units of the teachers that make the suggestions for the improvement for the next year class. That will be given with the, with the uh, example, with the diagram that shows how basic structure it is, how it is using the main database. We can say. Just read out all these things first. Of all. Now, next part is um, the note that because the school has no teacher librarian or the teacher the librarian product that is available, that must be rendered with the project, that must be rendered with the analysis that we have done, that, that everyone have an analysis phase. So they must use the expressway series and the library to gain the research skills needed to do the project. And they also studied democratic procedure during the unit at the different levels of the government. And the students met in the pre-arranged groups to discuss the information of the country. And each group was given a set of the sequences for the question that we, we, which focus on the typical problems on our interfaces. And the typical problems include natural disasters, social and economic problems. political unrest and the cultural concern. And before beginning to the next page, the teachers gave each group feedback on the plan for creating their country. That means they are giving the feedback on their plan to for the creativity for their support. 
The next step is to plan out what is the main feedback that is going on, what is the main concern that is going on in the planning phase. Then the information retrieval, that is the same. How we can retrieve, how we can read the information, how we can make the information together. So groups use the library resources, gather information on their country's problem, they also decide or check out the bibliographic notes from each of the group. Then information processing is also done, that also takes around two days. So the students need to make the notes from the text, graphics, geography, demographic, resources, climate problems and the responses to the questions. They also share the information through the student produce maps, flags, logos, charts and the laws. And also the punishment, yeah, that is a list of the possible natural resources and the paragraph on developing and improving the natural calamities and each group presented its country to the class and led the class in a discussion. Whatever the class they have, they reacted to the group's methods of governing its country and also solving the country's problems. Teacher evaluated presentation on both the oral and the written work. Then evolution takes place. Our students provided the input to the teachers on the most successful and the least successful aspects of the assignment, specific areas of the concern such as time allotted, resources available, methods of evaluation and suggestions for improving the assignment that are discussed. This type of enrichment activity is very excellent to the reinforce and also test the knowledge retained by the students. They were delighted with the good quality of the projects and how well all the students did, especially the resource room students. And the, the students have also gained a very good or great self worth and also are proud of the contribution to the project. They are providing with a good good opportunity with the project that they have. They also made resource resource from students. But when we talk about the high school, that also have a replacement that is given. Well, the history of the that were taught in the class, but students were told a library project that would be concluding activity. And they also selected their own topic for many sections of the unit. They were given complete freedom to choose how that is alone group and method to present the material and they were also ensured that or also assured that all the techniques were very even and they are to not see those marks for being creative how they are creative how they have so the combination of the history of the arts unit and preparation for a trip to a trial museum that is given provide to motivate the student to use creativity and the integrity to present information material to their peers and the level is the advanced level and what is the research state? That is the emphasis on the information sharing. So whatever the students that they collected the information, so they provide a form, a variety of the sources, including the card catalogs, including the reference books, non-fiction books, audiovisual material, pamphlets, files, and the magazine that were given. And they were introduced with the teacher librarian that were given uh, available for the consultations and teacher librarian marked the room of the bibliography. The information processing that chose their own strategies to select, evaluate, 